I seen the trailer. Yeah, that was the first thing that I wanted to do as soon as I had it parked. So I thought I was going to do this on my own. So as you can see here, lots of work. First things first is that a lot of people don't know, but Airstreams have a clear coat on them. And they still do to this day. They're polished or they're cleaned up. Not really high polished, but just a polished. And then they have a clear coat on them. And that clear coat lasts for years. But eventually it does start to dry out from the sun and peel. So what I had done, and, and I did not know this, that it had a coating. So remember, this is my first Airstream not knowing too much about them is that I started working in the front and you can see off the reflection myself covered with this apron because it is dirty work. Uh, you're working with a polisher, a high speed uh, polisher and that stuff is just throwing that polish uh, all over the place and it uh, gets it on you and you get black and dark in color and uh, so these are what happens to you. But as you can see, I did work on it, not knowing that it had this clear coating on it. And so I was wondering why it wasn't coming out as good as it was. And here I took it to somebody and they told me what it has. And so they did the work. This is now bringing it home from a professional a professional polisher and I just ran out of money and I told the guy I said listen man this is the this is all I've got you know do with what you can and so he did the best he could there was some more finishing that needed to be done and he showed me where and right up front as you can see you see all the swirls uh, where it needed some work and that's because it really needed a lot of work there are uh, on the front and that's because of the the pits and the grime the rest of the trailer came out really nice and you could see it there you could see in the reflection but I still had work to do not knowing what I know now this would have been the last thing I did because see I still had a, a couple of months worth of work to do you can see there it's almost coming to the end but you can see there the reflection of the other trailer that I had done and was trying to sell and there you could see the reflection also but I still had inside work to do but I was still trying to keep the outside clean and that's why you want to do this towards the end when you're just about ready to sell it so there it is cleaned up air conditioners on top that's a new air conditioner on top the rims are already done so I'm getting uh, really close to putting this up for sale and there was just a few things that I needed to do and but again I just wanted to make sure I maintained the polish and see now you can see in the front the swirls are just about gone and that's because I hit them with a uh, special polish removing as many swirls as possible there almost looks like a mirror same with there although you know again it's impossible to get it all out but just wanted to show you this and then there are the blue lines now uh, the trim pieces there used to be a plastic piece that goes inside there and I just again money wise didn't have the cash to purchase that and noticed that it had been painted once before so what I did is I cleaned it up the best I could taped it off and painted those blue lines in so you'll see the it took a lot of time painting piece of cake done in about five to ten minutes the prep work the taping off that took hours because you've got to get it done right you've got to make sure you got everything covered you don't need to get that paint somewhere where you had it polished and so here now you see where the paint, even though as thin as that line was, and you say, was it worth it? Yes, it was, because it just made it stand out. Along with the rims, the polishing, and now the blue lines, and it looked good. And as you saw there, for sale sign. Thanks for watching, guys. I got more coming. Talk to you later.